Let's take a look at this problem. We have positive real numbers a, b, and c, such that a squared plus a b plus b squared equals 25, b squared plus b c plus c squared equals 49, c squared plus c a plus a, a squared equals 64. Find the value of a plus b plus c all squared. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I've tried for a long time to solve for the exact values for a, b, and c, but it seems quite, um, not quite, but too tedious. And somehow, by looking at the left-hand side of all these three equations, a um, two terms squared plus a product of those two variables, and the right-hand side, all of these numbers are perfect squares, I have a gut feeling of that cosine law might work. So in fact, I can just construct a few triangles. Say I have a triangle with lengths A and B for two of the sides. And in the, the included angle in the middle takes 120 degrees. Then the third side should have length, the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos 120 degrees, and that is cos of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times minus a half, which is plus ab. Now, because from our equations, these expressions have a square number. So if I take square root, it's still an integer. So from the equation we have, this equals to 5. So using a similar argument, I can construct triangles like this. So side length 5, and then something else, say BC, 120 degrees again. That should equal to 7 for the third side. And for the third triangle, C, A, and then 120 degrees in the middle, the third side should have length 8. Now somehow, I can combine these three triangles, like I rotate, rearrange them, and I can put it like this. I can form a triangle like this, and then I can put the sides A, B, C here. 120 degrees for these three angles and so they should they should fit together because angles at a point is 360 degrees and for the blue lines they should have length 5 7 8 respectively now I have a now I have a triangle with all sides being integers have length to be integers and to make further relations on a b and c i'm going to consider the area of this blue triangle the big triangle in blue so i'm going to write uh, calculate the area in two different ways the first way would be to find the area of the three small triangles the three small components above separately with the formula half a b sine c so on one hand i have half of a b sine 120 degrees plus half b c times sine 120 degrees plus half a c sine 120 degrees that's the area and on the other hand i'm going to use the lengths five seven and eight and bring in Heron's formula. So Heron, this part is half, half a, b sine c, okay, separate these stuff, these are rough work, okay, and then the semi-perimeter of this triangle is 10, so 10 times 10 minus 5, 10 minus 7, 10 minus 8. And simplifying, 
we have the right hand side to be 10 times 5 times 3 times 2 which is 300 square root so 10 root 3 on the right side while on the left we have terms involving half of sine 120 degrees which is actually root 3 over 4 so root 3 over 4 times a b plus b c plus c a so i have this expression on a b c to be equal to 40 and this will be enough for us to find the value of a plus b plus c all squared it's not enough for finding a, b and c separately but enough for our our problem so back to our system we have that a, b plus b, c plus c, a equals 40 so now I can add them up if I add up these four equations let me write on the right I'm going to have 2a squared, 2b squared, 2c squared, and then I'll have 2ab, 2bc, 2ca, and that is 25 plus 49 plus 64 plus 40, 178. So recall that a plus b plus c all squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 2 of a b plus b c plus c a so all we need now is just that the coefficients of a squared the square terms i should say and the a b b c c a terms to be at 12 raised to be have to have ratio 1 to 2 and if we simply add them at the four equations the coefficients will be equal so I'll have to add an extra 2AB, 2BC, 2CA at the left and add an extra 80 at the right. So now we will have the square terms to a coefficient 2 and the ABBCCA terms have coefficient 4. So I can divide both sides by I can divide both sides by the 2 and so I have the answer to be 129.